Welcome to A Shot of Wildlife. In today's video, I'm going to tell you almost everything you need to know about the Dunnock. Sometimes referred to as hedge sparrows, despite appearances, Dunnocks are not closely related to sparrows at all. And in fact, they're the UK's only member of the Ascentor family. They have a wingspan of 19 to 21 centimetres and grow to 19 to 24 grams in weight. Dunnocks are mottled chestnut brown over most of their bodies with grey chests and heads and noticeable brown cheeks. Unlike true sparrows, Dunnocks have thin and pointed beaks. They are a common garden resident and are also seen in deciduous woodlands, parklands, heathlands and around farmland edges. Throughout most of the year, a Dunnock's diet is almost entirely made up of insects and other invertebrates, but during the colder months when these are in short supply, they will also feed on seeds, sometimes visiting garden bird feeders, but usually hoovering up the seeds from underneath them. David Attenborough made the Dunnock famous in his documentary, Life of Birds, where he uncovered some of their varied and complex breeding strategies. It's been found that although they can and do form single faithful pairs, this is often not the case, with some females mating with multiple males, some males mating with multiple females, and sometimes two pairs forming and working together in a four-way relationship. They typically start nesting from April onwards, with the females creating cup-shaped nests of twigs lined with moss and hair. Once complete, she'll lay three to five blue eggs that measure around 20 millimeters in length. She will incubate these alone for 12 to 13 days, but once the chicks hatch, the father, or potential fathers, will help her to feed the rapidly growing chicks. It takes just 12 days for the chicks to be ready to fledge, although if the weather is bad or if food is in short supply, they can remain in the nest for longer than this. Once they do fledge, the chicks stay in their parents' territory for a further three to four weeks, after which point they'll be fully independent. Each female dunnock will nest two to three times per year, using the same nest each time if it remains intact, and sometimes even using the same nest for multiple years. In the UK and in Western Europe, dunnocks are resident all year round, but in Northern Europe and Russia, they are migratory staying to breed and then heading south into southern Europe and western Asia to spend the winter. Outside of their natural range, Dunnocks have also been successfully introduced into New Zealand. In the UK there are an estimated 2.5 million Dunnocks and over the past 50 years their numbers have been slowly growing following a sharp decline in the 1970s. They have an average lifespan of around two years but the oldest known Dunnock survived to 11 years and three months of age. Here is what a Dunnock singing sounds like. Well, if you made it this far, you may as well check out this video here about house sparrows. And if you enjoy that, subscribe here for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.